This hurricane looks big, and now that it's in the Gulf, the chance of heading towards Tampa Bay has drastically increased. It's time to get ready. Hi, I'm Mary Keith, Hillsborough County Extension Service. Anytime you live in a hurricane-prone area, you need to be ready. But how do you tell if all of this is going to be enough for your family? You're supposed to have enough for three days. So other than the three gallons of water per person per day that you need to have on hand, what else do you need? We've put together a new brochure, a hurricane food supply checklist that will help you go through and make sure you have enough for a family of four for three days without power. But we also put together a selection here of a lot of the things that are mentioned just to give you an idea of how do you do it with the least waste and the most variety for your family. The first group to think about is always the grains. And other than all of the granola bars, fruit and nut bars, et cetera, that are so easily available and that we can easily get tired of, what else do you have? Well, some other choices are loaves of bread. They'll keep for a week. One loaf of bread, something like this, is going to be good for three people for a day or three days for one person, if that's the only grain that you're eating. Another really good thing that we've got a lot of on the market now are different kinds of tortillas, wraps, lots and lots of different flavors. So find some that your family enjoys and get them to add some variety. Although, you do want some plain ones, because that's what's going to be good with peanut butter and jelly, or raisins. Think about breakfasts. The first thing that most of us think about is, oh, grab a couple boxes of cereal. But remember, if the AC's out, the power is down, one box like this, once it's opened, is going to start getting soft, soggy, very humid. So, consider getting the small boxes, the individual servings. They cost more, but you're going to waste a lot less. And there's lots of varieties of those available. Another thing to consider is the instant oatmeal. There's lots of different varieties now. If you've got a camp stove or a grill or a sterno, any way to heat water, all you need to do is add the cup of hot water, leave it sit for three minutes, and it's ready to go. And if your children insist on milk, there are lots of the brick packs, the shelf-stable milks that are available now, too. Regular milk, low-fat milk, soy milk, rice milk. So you've got a big variety there. The other thing in the grains and cereal category to think about is your main course meals. And there's a lot of different products here available. Raviolis, um, beefaronis. Just remember, for one thing, make sure you have your non-electric can opener. And think about the serving sizes. Is your whole family going to be able to finish off a whole can at once? Because if they aren't, don't get a big can. Remember, without refrigeration, you're not going to be able to keep it. So think about getting some of the individual cans. And a lot of the individual serving size containers now come with pop tops so that you don't even need the can opener for those. One final thing to consider in the grains and cereals category are what used to be the plain old bland diet food rice cakes. Well, there's lots of varieties now. Everything from popcorn cakes to chocolate, apple cinnamon, and various other flavors. So consider some of those, not only as treats for your children, but as treats for yourself. Moving on to talking about the vegetables, something else that we need more of than we usually get. One of the things that's so great in the markets now is we've got lots of different varieties of flavored tomato products. So you can use flavored tomatoes with any of the other plain vegetables that you happen to have on hand and add a lot more flavor to the vegetables. You can also start with some of the canned soups and add additional vegetables to use the flavor from the soup to add to the vegetable, as well as cut down a little bit on all the extra salt that's in there. You can also start with veggies, mixed veggies. And again, if you have a way to heat water, use some of the instant or the minute chicken noodle, rice noodle, anything like that cups. Add the hot water, leave it sit for the minute, 
stir in the vegetables, and then now you're using the flavor from the soup to flavor up the vegetables as well as use the vegetables to enhance the soup. If you have plain beans and some salsa, smash the beans, mix them together, and now you've got a nice spread to put on those wraps or on crackers. You can also use canned corn mixed with kidney beans, white beans, black beans, some of that salsa to make a corn and bean salad. Or you can use the white beans, smash them, add some olive oil, add some dry seasoning, all-purpose mixtures, Italian flavor, whatever, and you'll have a very nice spread also for your crackers or your tortillas. And remember, the Worcester sauce, the teriyaki sauce, the soy sauce, these things are not going to go bad. So you don't have to worry just because the power's out that you have to throw them away, but they are great for adding to all the different vegetables to add flavor. Again, remember to consider serving sizes. If you're not going to eat a whole can of mixed vegetables at one time, get an individual can get the smaller sizes, because this is only two servings. This one is four or five. So be sure that, to get a serving size that you will be able to use. And if you've got some of the old standby ketchup around, you can always use that as a last resort to flavor up your vegetables as well. Thinking about fruits. When you know that the hurricane's coming, go out and buy a whole bag of fresh ones, because fresh apples, fresh oranges, they'll last for up to a week. So you can be eating fresh fruit while everybody else is having to depend on the canned things. Again, lots and lots of variety. Think about how much you'll eat. A single jar of applesauce might be inexpensive, but the glass jars in particular are heavy and break. You can now get a lot of products in the plastic jars, which are lighter weight and not so breakable but consider the serving size. If you can't eat a whole jar, get the individual containers. There are a lot of different individual fruits, and you can get the single serving fruits in pop-top cans as well. This is much more sturdy, especially if you have to pack it in the car and go, than something like this, in that the, the metal cans won't break. If the children get tired of plain old applesauce, feel free, add some pumpkin pie spice, add some cinnamon, you can stir it into either of these to make things taste a lot better. Plain old grape jelly, well, it's a fruit flavor, but it isn't really going to give you the nutrition that you want, but it sure does go well with the peanut butter on the crackers. Consider raisins as well, or any kind of dried fruit. It's concentrated sugar, so it's concentrated energy that you might need sometimes, but don't plan on pigging out on the whole box at one time. Finally, consider the juices. There's a lot of different flavors available. They do provide the vitamins and the minerals of the fruit, and they come in a lot of small containers. But any of these individual serving size containers of juice are going to be a better investment of your money than buying the large containers. The other thing is, is if you have three or four different varieties, everybody can have one of their own. So that way they're not, you're not all having to drink the same thing. And drinking is important you have to remember to stay hydrated, and juice can be a big part of that. And speaking of hydration, do make sure that you get your liquids, six to eight classes of something liquid every day, especially if the air conditioning is off, you're outside more, you're in the hot sun, you're doing heavier labor, you really need to drink. Now, plain water is fine. If you get tired of plain water, here are some other options, things to consider. For one, tang, powdered, is equivalent to fruit juice. So you can use that to flavor the water. Of course, there are the non-nutritious types of flavorings too, Gatorade, Kool-Aid, the sugar freeze. If you want those, any of those will work. If you're a tea or a coffee drinker, make sure you've got some instant on hand. Might not be the same as the brood, but it's gonna taste real good when you haven't had anything for several days. You can also use any of the different sparkling waters, either to dilute the tang, dilute the fruit juices, 
or just to drink on your own. This happens to be a sugar-free, but there are others that are flavored and sweetened at the same time. Moving on to the milk and the dairy products, not only do these things provide some of that fluid that you need, but they're also good protein sources as well. Probably the most popular is the shelf-stable little boxes of milk. You can get plain white milk, you can get low fat, you can get chocolate, you can get strawberry, powdered milk, or canned milk are other options. As long as you've got safe water, you can use these. Do remember to think about portion sizes because if you're not going to use the whole can at one time, you want to invest in the smaller cans. Now, you can use this, obviously, for eating with your cereal, but you can also use it with the instant puddings. You'll still be getting the fluid, you'll still be getting the protein and the, the nutrition, but now it looks more like a pudding. You can also use any of the different versions of flavorings for milk, the chocolate, the strawberry, it doesn't, you know, whatever uh, your family prefers. Make sure you've got the right kind of can opener if you're using the canned milk. And you can buy the ready-made puddings as well. Shelf stable, something that doesn't have to be refrigerated. But these are also very good, make a nice nutritious dessert or treat. Moving on to the proteins. Lots of choices here. One thing that you don't want to put a lot of in your supply are these type of snack meat and cheese items. These must be refrigerated. So two hours after the power is out or after they're out of the refrigerator, these are no longer safe. So don't depend on these. Or if you have them, eat them first. Other than that, peanut butter is probably the old standby. And of course, there are peanut butter crackers as well. Peanut butter goes on rice cakes, goes on bread, goes on tortillas to make a peanut butter wrap, anything you want to put it on. We've got lots of choices in, in terms of the different power bars, protein bars, things like that. Um, if you like them, find a flavor that you enjoy and keep some of those around. Tuna fish is the other big standby. And once again, can you eat a whole can at one time? Or do you want to invest in the little single serving products? Make sure you have the can opener. Other than a can opener, we of course have lots of ones that use the, the foil pack. There's a lot of different flavors of these around. And now you can get the tuna and the salmon steaks in these type of packs. If you've got a grill, you can heat these up and have a perfectly wonderful meal. Other meat products, good old Spam. And there's regular Spam, there's turkey Spam, Spam light. Make sure you get the size that you can use. This is two servings, this is four or five. So how much are you going to be able to eat at one time? Another good choice for protein is beans. In the can, they're already cooked. You can use baked beans, big cans, small cans. If you have small cans and there's only one or two of you, that's a meal. If you have small cans and there's three or four or five of you, put in a can of regular beans. Just mix the two of them together, warm them up some, and that'll be fine. You can also use plain kidney beans, smashed, to mix in with a can of refried beans and now you put it on one of those tortillas or wraps that you had. Use a little bit of another good protein source, Velveeta, or any of the shelf-stable processed cheeses. They'll keep for months. Once they're open, then you need to eat them fairly rapidly. So again, the small size package is a good choice. The summer sausages the beef sausages, any of the hard sausage and salami products, as long as it doesn't need to be refrigerated, another very good choice. Little on the salty side though, so don't plan that this will be your only choice. And if you do have some of the different packaged products or if you simply have leftovers in the refrigerator, of course you're gonna eat those first. But if you have something like this, you can mix it with, one of those cans of vegetable soup, put in a can of vegetables along with it, and turn something that was otherwise two servings into enough for four or five people for a dinner. You do want to plan on a few snacks, but just the little bags. You don't need great humongous bags of chips, 
pretzels, things like that. Yes, they're fun, but they're not gonna give you the nutrition that you need. And a few candy bars, a few plain chocolates, yes. But try to make sure you've gotten good balance, good nutrition for the whole day. You and your family are gonna feel a lot better. Finally, all the paperware. Make sure you've got paper cups or plastic cups, plates, silverware, plenty of paper towels. Garbage bags would be handy too, but make sure you've got these because otherwise you're gonna be eating right out of the can. Be sure to also pack hand sanitizer. The first step to food safety is keeping your hands free of bacteria. Using sanitizer helps save your precious water supplies for drinking. Rub it on clean looking hands. Scrub well for 15 seconds or until they're dry. Once you have your food supplies, store them in boxes you can easily carry. Label the boxes so you can grab them quickly if you need to go. Put foods packaged in paper or cardboard in heavy plastic bags to keep them dry. Large popcorn cans also make good sturdy storage containers to keep fragile packages dry and intact. So finally, if you want a copy of our hurricane food supply checklist, give us a call. We'll be happy to put them in the mail to you. What it has on the inside is by the different food groups, how many servings do you need for two adults, two children, for three days, plus suggestions for what kinds of foods and serving sizes, containers, how to store them. But as you're putting together your food supply, just go through and check them off, check them off, check them off, and you'll be able to tell how much do you have, how much more do you need. It's free, give us a call, we'll put it in the mail to you.